Okay folks, so a little crypto update for today on my Moto Vlog Moto Crypto Vlog It's like what I like to call it um, First of all, where am I headed today? Well, I'm going to go up to Hall Park Farm um, to a local butchers up there um, I'm after some uh, Probably some lamb chops for tonight. Nice and fresh from the local butcher. I I'm basically probably a 95% vegetarian, but I will sometimes have a little bit of meat at the weekend type thing. That's kind of how my diet is. Uh, I'm on the uh, what you call it a uh, like Novak Djokovic, um, not vegan. Um, What's the word I'm after? Plant-based. Most of the time I'm plant-based, so I'm, I'm just, but I'm not completely vegetarian. So I'm gonna pop up there and get some really nice tasty meat. A few bikers out today. The weather has warmed a bit today. We had the fire on last night for the first time this year here in the village, so. Uh, but today is fairly pleasant, I've I have got my like neck warm warmer thing on though, um, and I'm also going to check out a wood yard which I uh, found up here up this way because I'm after some wood and it looks like they were really they really had some bargains there. It's a local place as well. Uh, just happened to drive past it, but I've got a feeling they might be closed. But I just want to case of joint so to speak but I'll, I'll go to the butchers first so they close at four so I'm not in too much of a rush and I just thought I'd um, take the opportunity of switching the camera on and talking a little bit giving a little crypto update which is what I'm trying to build my channel around as well as other, as well as other topics like violin and um, and then talk about some other stuff that's in the news around censorship and deplatforming and Russell Brand, if I get a chance, but come on to that in a little bit. So on the crypto front, um, listening to really good um, crypto vigilante video on YouTube and on vigilante.tv. Um, same videos you can get to from both places where Raf Laverde is talking to a guy called Jack Liu, I think his name is a really smart guy, and he gives you just a total breakdown of the evolution of Bitcoin. So I'll include that video in the description box because I, I recommend that you listen to it because the guy spends like the first hour really going through in depth the uh, theory of Bitcoin. He's a guy who I believe was quite senior at Kraken, and one or two other exchanges you'll find out when you watch the video he tells you sort of where he hails from and i i gather really from what he's saying he's been around since the inception of uh, btc but he's really has become kind of a bsv guy bitcoin satoshi what does it stand for oh it's gone out of my head Bitcoin Satoshi oh, <laughs> I'll put it on the screen <laughs> BSV the Craig Wright coin which I've never got into because and even this guy points out that uh, Craig Wright CSW who the guy who claims he's Satoshi he even says that his uh, his name has become a bit toxic in the crypto space but he's basically encouraging you to look beyond that and look at BSV which is scalable Bitcoin um, but he kind of comes on to that later in the video and really the video is entitled Bitcoin ordinals I don't think maybe I mean I love the video because from a theory point of view it just gives you a whole panoramic view really just a really super eloquent speaker um, but I'm not sure that he really hits on BTC Bitcoin ordinals directly. Um, and I realized, although that's not a brand new thing, it's relatively new, it's been around since December, January. 
um, and it's basically bringing NFTs to the Bitcoin space. And the way I like to think of it, I, I actually need to dig into it some more, really. So I'm not claiming that I'm an expert here on Bitcoin ordinals, okay? But the way I like to think of it is looking at Bitcoin at the Satoshi level. Because let's face it, for most people, unless they were early OGs in Bitcoin, it's too late now to really, unless you have some money to throw around, to be thinking in terms of coins and certainly mining. To concentrate here, certainly mining is uh, is not within the hands of the individual. Um, it's it's like you know, state level now in um, El Salvador using volcanoes. I mean. It's big companies that are mining now, so uh, you just need that sort of hash power, so to speak. So, so Ordinals is taking it back down to the Satoshi level, as I understand it, and Satoshis being units of Bitcoin. Um, one Bitcoin equals, I think, a hundred million Satoshis, so that shows you just how you can subdivide it. And at the Satoshi level on the blockchain, you can, they now can link, um, there's another firewood place, interesting, was it the same one? Might be coming back down that way. You can link um, your NFTs to a particular Satoshi in the code. So effectively your Satoshi now becomes non-fungible because it's uniquely associated with an NFT. So what could that NFT be? So yeah, it's making Bitcoin scalable, right? Um, even though it's small block, um, but that NFT could be a piece of art, some music, maybe a movie, or um, I don't know what it could be really. I must dig into it more. When we think of NFTs, we're thinking mostly of uh, arts and sci cypherpunks and things or whatever those nft punk things um but i think it's kind of cool to be able to zoom in down to the satoshi level bring nfts back into the spotlight because they've dropped a lot since the 2021 kind of madness a lot of people have lost a lot of money i don't know if Bitcoin, the Bitcoin network and ordinals can, here's Hall Park, I'm here, can actually directly compete with uh, Ethereum or not. I'm not sure, I have to find out about that. Um, I also wanted to talk about the concept of first layer, second layer, third layer. First layer is the miner, second layer in the case of Bitcoin is the Lightning Network and third layer, I believe, is building apps on top of layer two. Anyway. I've arrived at my destination, so um, I'll continue the chat in a second. So CryptoSmith out just for right now. Ciao. See you in a bit.